On this video, we will be able to observe for the first time ever a mitosis imaged in 3D and without any stain with NanoLife's new technology and product, the 3D Cell Explorer. Mouse embryonic stem cells were incubated at 37 degrees and 5% CO2 overnight with the help of the top stage incubator that you can see here on the video. On the left panel is represented the refractive index map in 2D. I am now scrolling down through the cell in Z to see the 96 focal planes that compose the image. On the right panel, you have the 3D reconstruction as obtained with our software Steve. Each color corresponds to a different refractive index range in the cell. Please enjoy the full mitosis process happening here, and then we will pass through each phase in more detail. This is the cell which is dividing. Keep your eyes on it. You will now see how the chromatin slowly unfolds to allow chromosome replication. How chromosomes align on the middle plane and are separated by the spindle fibers. And finally, how the two new cells separate, how the two new nuclei form, and how the cells slowly are reattaching to the bottom. On this video, it's very interesting to see how the DNA refractive index changes during the different cell cycle phases and how our instrument can detect it. So you can see how the DNA passes from a light blue color to a green color in the late prophase. But let's analyze the different phases in more detail. Here we have the cell prior division. Nucleus, nucleoli and nuclear membrane are still intact. The cell is now entering the interphase. The chromosomes are dispersed in the nucleus and appears as a network of long, thin threads of filaments, chromatin. At some point, before prophase begins, the chromosomes replicate themselves to form pairs of identical sister chromosomes. During prophase, the two chromatids remain attached to one another at a region called the centromere. The nucleus and in most cases the nuclear envelope break down and disappear. Also, during prophase, the spindle begin to form. The centrioles separate and move apart. During metaphase, the chromosomes align at the equatorial plane and marks the point where the whole cell will divide when nuclear division is completed. The end of the spindle are the poles to which the chromatids will migrate. The chromatids are attached to the spindle fibers at the centromeres. During anaphase, the two chromatids of each chromosome separate and move to the opposite poles, as if pulled along the spindle fibers by the centromeres. During telophase, the new nuclear envelopes form around the two groups of daughter chromosomes. The new nucleoli begin to appear, and eventually, as the formation of the new nuclei is completed, the spindle fibers disappear. Cytokinesis finally separates the daughter nuclei into new individual daughter cells. In the end, the chromosomes uncoil to assume their dispersed distribution within the interface nucleus and the two new cells can reattach to the bottom.